find a friend at a dating agency. It must be the Russ Abbott Christmas Show. The holly and the ivy, when they are both full grown, of all the trees that are in the wood, the holly measures round. Compliments of the season. Oh. Yes, the season of goodwill. The time of year when there's straw on the floor. The smell of animals. The cold, damp wolves. The cry of the baby. The cattle lowing in the corner of the room. Oh. How come you know so much about our house? Hey. <laughs> We rub noses. Oh, sorry, I'll do. Yeah. Now, Molly, Molly. We were just passing, so we thought we'd pop in, luck. But this is the North Pole. What are you doing to here? We got timeshare. Ah, oh, timeshare. That's right. <laughs> you see, um, we bought this little timeshare igloo. You know, when I say igloo, I mean an igg with an outside loo. <laughs> Well, it's Christmas, isn't it? We're celebrating. Don't you celebrate Christmas up here? Oh, no. Oh, you mean you don't have any turkey or mince pies or that? No, we eat blubber. Blubber? Whale meat. Hey, up. you better start bathing indoors from now on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you eat now, Telson? Oh, we eat fish and steaks. Oh, we eat fish and chips, but I never saw a chippy on the way up. No. <laughs> what do you do, go down to Tesco's? <laughs> no, we catch fish, put spear down ice hole. Flavour, no. <laughs> Oh, it sounds a bit boring to me. I mean, what do you have for your tea on Mondays? A wheel meat. Tuesdays? Fish on steaks. Wednesdays? Wheel meat again. Don't know where. Don't know where. <laughs> 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 I like to make a laugh. Oh, no, no. Uh, oh sorry, we haven't introduced ourselves. We're Wilf, uh, Wilf Bumworth, is it? Eh? <laughs> That's the room. Chairman of the South Burnley Pigeon Fancies Association Club. <laughs> this is the wife, Nelly. Hi. <laughs> Ninka, Hello. and this is Nuki. Oh, this is... <laughs> very nice too. I'll come on my own next time. Right? I like Nuki. You what? <laughs> He's that little bear with Roger de Coursey. Of course he is. Ah, yes. It's a third coat that's thrown there, yes. <laughs> Talking of Roger de Coursey, what do you do for entertainment round here? Woo! <laughs> Husky. What do you do for entertainment round here? <laughs> We stick skins together. We make boots. Canoe. I don't know them. I've never tried. <laughs> no, you don't understand. We build kayaks. Oh, Nelly makes kayaks, food kayaks, birthday kayaks. <laughs> 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 Ah, we brought you a present. Ah, I nearly forgot. Ah, that's the whole idea. Yes, I'll tell you what. Yeah, look at this. Do you just nasty this book? An electric fire. <laughs> and a warm little group. Eh? Well, come on, the Queen's speech is on at three o'clock. I promised her a fur coat for Christmas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've had trouble with you before. I've never been in this pub before. You have been in this pub before, and every time you're in this pub, you cause trouble. I have never been in this pub before in my life. 
All right, then I'll believe you. What would you like? The usual. <laughs> I've been down the town hall. Town hall, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. I've been looking up about my forefathers. You got four dads in? <laughs> my family tree is very fascinating. For instance, do you know my great 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 granddad was a sailor? Oh yeah. Yeah, he went round with Captain Cook. Oh, a bit like that, was he? <laughs> He was the ship's entertainment officer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did his act for the crew and for the passengers, and on the way home, they circumnavigated the own. Well, didn't you like his act, right? <laughs> oh, don't you, don't you know nothing? That's in Africa. Ah. Yeah, it was there that he snuffed it. Oh, damn. How'd he die? Well, he was doing his act for the cannibals, and they ate him. Well, he must have gone down well, then. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas, Norman. I haven't made any plans yet. The wife fancies Greece. I like that. Turkey and Greece. It's funny, that. <laughs> Personally, I think Christmas is a waste of time. I mean, it's just an excuse for people to stuff themselves, isn't it? Yeah, well, they can stuff themselves as much as they like, as long as they don't stuff me, eh? <laughs> yeah. I mean, remember last year? Yeah. We're lucky, mate. We can remember. Yeah. Remember, Stan? Yeah. What happened to him? He got knocked down outside the butchers Christmas Eve. Knocked down? Yeah, knocked down from 98p a pound to 65. <laughs> We're happy, aren't we, eh? Hey, what more could a turkey ask for? Oh, happy as a picking grip. Yeah. Warm yeah. <laughs> meal by the individual packs so we never go hungry. Don't say that word. What word? Paxo. <laughs> no, 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 no. I said individual packs so we never go hungry. Oh. <laughs> Here. I was in the yard the other day and I saw this really tasty chicken. Pull it? No, she didn't want to know. Oh. <laughs> You've always been one for the birds, Oh, you? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've waved me wattle about in my time, I can tell you, mate. <laughs> Of course, I mean, I know that, I know that, but have you, uh, have you, uh, have you, uh, have you uh, had a gander at that gander in the yard? Hey, hey, see oh. the drumsticks on that? Oh, yeah, 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 very nice, I'll grant you, but, uh, I mean, she's only eight inches tall. Yeah, but I like a little goose. <laughs> what's she, uh, what's she doing for Christmas, then? I don't know, but she gave me a number. Yeah? Regular five. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Bert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at those ends over there in the yard. Yeah, look at the Parsons on that one. Ooh. Yeah. What do you say we'd run over and grab a couple? I've got a better idea. What? Let's walk over and grab the lot. Come on. <laughs> I'm Dr. Wimpy, and I'm looking for a great barren house. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, there's somebody coming. It's an old lady driving a Porsche. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Hello. Dip, dip, dip. Oh. There's a handsome young man, girls. Let's get married and have 15 children. Uh, but I hardly know you. Never mind, the children will bring us together. <laughs> Mind, madam, I'm trying to entertain these nice boys and girls. Entertain? I can do an act. I can do it. Can you? Who's this? A famous lady of Baker Street. Who uh, is it? I don't know. Who Mad is it? Madam Two Swords. <laughs> <laughs> do you do anybody else? Anybody else? <laughs> Why, amazing! It's you, Holmes. Good to see you, Wimpy. So nice to have you back, my dear fellow. Back where? Why, in Baker Street. <laughs> That must be a client. Oh, yes, sir. Come in. Come round the side. Hello, boys and girls. Hello. I'm Sir Henry Baskerville, your host. 
housekeeper sent me up. I'm not surprised, dressed like that. <laughs> oh, really, Holmes. Uh, please sit down, my dear fellow. There's a chair over there. Is that? Now, before I solve this case, I need my magnifying glass. Where is it? Ah, there it is. <laughs> Wimpy? Yes, Holmes? I'm beginning to fancy Sir Henry. <laughs> you know, Holmes, sometimes I think you're really stupid. Would you spell that out? Uh, yes, Holmes. S T U P I D stupid. <laughs> that being the case, I think you're incoherent. <laughs> Sorry, Holmes. I N double K. No, no, you don't spell it like that. Sorry, Holmes. rub it out. Yes, <laughs> I N C H. Gentlemen, there's been a series of murders at Baskerville Hall. And after each one, a hideous apparition. A huge hound appeared on the hill. <gasps> Sir, <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> 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 so, this must be where the apparition always appears. You will tell me if you see anything, boys and girls, won't you? This way? No! Uh, no, no! Or that way? No! No, I can't see that! Look, behind me? No! Oh, right. <laughs> Nothing here, where? Now, you're being very naughty, boys and girls. Very naughty. Yeah. I say, boys and girls, what was it? Hey, Mr. Holmes, Dr. Wimpy, boys and girls, I found a body in the library. <laughs> Leave it there for six weeks. If it's not claimed, it's yours. <laughs> the library closes at six. We must haste. Yes. <laughs> Just in time. Now, where's the body? There. Ah, yes, of course. Let's take a look. <laughs> Never mind, I can see it from here. <laughs> you there, body. Who stabbed you? Uh, Holmes. He's dead. That's no excuse for rudeness, Wimpy. <laughs> you two leave me alone. I need time to think. Yes, sir. Now then. <laughs> think. <laughs> think. Think, think. Yeah! Oh, you can't it. Oh, no, he isn't. Oh, he is. All right, then I'll take another look. The hound was you all along, Wimpy. Alias Mavis Riley. Oh, really? Yeah. Alias Moriarty. So, Moriarty, alias Dr. Wimpy, was the hound all the time. What made you suspect me, Holmes? Can I tell him, boys and girls? Yes! One, the hound and you were never present at the same time. Two, you and the hound were never present at the same time. <laughs> Nine, <laughs> the train at Paddington, there was a tail sticking out of the back of your trousers. Damn, it's always the little things that give you away. <laughs> That's about the real Dr. Wimpy. Shall I tell him, boys and girls? Yes! The real Dr. Wimpy is being held by the black sheep of the Moriarty family. Sir Arthur, his Jewish butler, and his Irish gardener. Not! Yes, Sir Arthur Cohen and Doyle. <laughs> ah, the real Inspector Hound. Woof woof! You'll get a big bone for this. <laughs> to the pound, Hound. But first, a song. I have solved the mystery of Dartmoor. Dartmoor. Caught the phantom killer of Dartmoor. Dartmoor. And after every crime, I dressed up every time as a great big nasty bow. Wow, wow. <laughs> You bain't be one of them women of Greenham Common, will ye? Certainly not. Are you sure? Oh, do I look like a woman? No, but they don't either. <laughs> what are you going to have? Oh, I don't know. What have you got? Well, there's Grotnish Triple X, or Old Contentable Bitter, or there's Mild. Well, oh, what sort of Mild is it? Well, it's Grotnish Triple X, or Old Contentable Bitter, gone flat. Oh, well, in that case, I'll, I'll just have the, uh, the bitter, please. Point? No, just a half, thank you. Pansy. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, five pound? Yes. Thank you. Here we are. One, two, three pound and fifty pence. One pound fifty for half a bitter? Ah, well, see, it's happy hour. Happy hour? Makes me happy. <laughs> well, can you get anything to eat, please? Oh, you're right. Um, I think I'll have the ploughman's lunch, thank you. Well, I must say, you, uh, you certainly seem to have retained the traditional atmosphere of a country pub. It's got a certain air about it. Ah, uh, well, that'll be the cat. He gets everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I see you've even got the uh, traditional sawdust on the floor. Oh, no, see, that's last night's furniture. Ah. <laughs> you get a lot of trouble in here, then? Well, there will be in a minute. Really? That's the ploughman, and you're eating his lunch. <laughs> morning we can't wait for christmas day while the boys and girls are sleeping we are sneaking out to play there'll be smiles from mike and tommy they both wanted action men sarah wants a pretty doll she'll be disappointed then the doll she asked for cabbage patch you know the coin seems to me they brought the cabbage left the blooming doll behind does it mean i've got the muscles most of them inside your head. Little Mike, he wanted Rambo. He's got Dumbo here instead. Action men are cool and macho. These days they're all out of place. You're all violence and aggression. You say that I'll smash your face. <laughs> Never mind, let's see the presents. Here's a game you play with dice. It's called Brucey's Play Your Cards Right. Nice to see you, see you dice. <laughs> Here's another game called bullseye throwing darts is what you do. Super couple smashing prizes and a bendy bully too. <laughs> Gone and broke it, God, you are a clumsy prat. <laughs> Here's a little ballerina underneath the mistletoe. I think I will try to kiss her. That's a way of saying no. Don't push me! Thanks, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where have you been? I've been on one of them coach trips to Europe. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. What was it like then? That was very nice, but I didn't like Paris much. No? No, no. You see, they've got these toilets out on the pavements. So? Well, they haven't got telephones in them like we've got. Oh, no. <laughs> what was it like then? You know, I mean, what was the food like? Very nice. We went into one of them bra braziers. You mean brasserie? No, no, braziers. That's where they all hang out. <laughs> <laughs> What do you have then? Well, I had snails. Yeah? Yeah, they ate me salad. <laughs> it's better than having frog's legs, isn't it? Why? Well, they kicked the peas off the plate, wouldn't they? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, was, what was the beverage like? Very nice, yeah. We went into this bar in the south of France. Nice? No, Nice. Ah. <laughs> and the waiter said, you want a van ordinaire? I said, no, thanks. I've got the doormobile outside. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so where else did you go then? Went to Italy. Italy? Oh, yeah. yeah. How many liras did you get for a pound? Oh, about a shovelful. Ah. <laughs> I had a nice couple of weeks. Did you? Yeah, exotic food. I never heard a word of English for two weeks. Where was that then? Leicester Square. <laughs> Of course, my heart tells him it's like a yeah. sword. Here, yeah. have you had that fire on since I went out this morning? Yes, Uncle Sid. Frick of the bills, it's going to cost us a fortune. Turn it off. No, it won't cost us anything, Uncle Sid. How come? Well, I borrowed it off the fella from next door. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Father Christmas. Hello, Sonny. Come and sit down, Santa, isn't it? Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, 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 oh,
I found she floated better that way. <laughs> Our story begins in the spring of 1941. I was on the bridge with my first mate. It's funny how you never forget the first one, isn't it? <laughs> we heard that Jerry was lurking about, ready to cause trouble. Jerry was the second mate, but that's another story. <laughs> on with this. Over to the mid-Atlantic. <laughs> I'm freezing up here. <laughs> Thank you. I'm afraid, sir. Did you want me? Yes. There's a fire down on B-deck, sir. Good. I'm freezing up here. Don't turn that one, sir. Damn. Number two? I wish you wouldn't call me that, sir. Good heavens. What is it, sir? Keep yourself. <laughs> Sir. It's funny, neither can I. <laughs> God, war's hell. <laughs> Our man. Uh, no, sir, my name's Roger. I was thinking of my wife. I'll never forget the day I got my orders from the Admiral then. I went to tell Amanda. I gave her an aspirin. How did she take it? In a glass of water. <laughs> oh, Amanda, whenever I think of you, I think of... <laughs> Shut up, We found a stowaway, sir. A girl. She's been on board for three days without food or clothing. Then bring her up. I shall give her some food. Yes, sir. <laughs> a girl on board ship, sir. They say that's a hoodoo. Hoodoo. The crudo. <laughs> Amanda! Elliot! Amanda! Elliot! Amanda! Elliot! Captain? Yes? Do you two know each other? Well, of course. Roger, my wife. I beg your pardon, sir. <laughs> no, no, this is my wife. Oh. Number two? Don't you have to see a man about a dog watch? Ah, uh, yes, sir. I'll see you again at six bells. Give or take a ding-dong or two. <laughs> oh, Elliot, is it too beastly being here for you? Well, I'm... <laughs> I'm sleeping between two hooks and it isn't easy. Why not? There isn't a hammock. Oh, dear. Oh, Amanda, do you, do you remember when we first met? The mimosa was in blossom. The senna was in pot. <laughs> Shelley? Thank you. I shouldn't really be serving Shelley here. Why not? This is the port side. <laughs> oh, Amanda, do you remember our song? Our song? Yes. Yes, dear. Oh, my sweet, shall we sing it now? Yes, dearest. Any old eye, any, any old eye. <laughs> I don't want to die, sir. Shut up, Adam. Uh, sorry, sir. Captain, we've been torpedoed. Torpedo. Women and children fast. Coward. Mrs. Coward to you. Wait for me, mummy. Sad. Look, Roger, there's a great big hole in the front of the ship. The front, sir? Bow, sir, bow. Oh, very well. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Any messages? No, sir. But tell me, where's your lady wife? She's over there. <laughs> Amanda. Elliot. Attenborough. You never think it's going to happen to you, sir. Yeah, I suppose if he's got your number on it. Please, please, my dear boy, try not to talk. Why not? Because you sound so common. <laughs> well, Amanda, Roger, c'est la vie. Love it. Thank you. Oh, a ship. And it's coming this way. Oh, but I can't see what it's called, sir. Oh, yes, I can see it. What's it called, sir? It's the good ship. Good heavens, this is Mons Coron Rouge Champagne. This is far too expensive to waste on watching the ship. Sir, why aren't you waving? We have not been introduced. Sweeping away! Oh my God, there are sharks! And we're surrounded by u boats sir. And there's a storm coming up! Ladies and gentlemen, I do detest unhappy endings, so here's a happy one. Darling, I've just seen the ship's doctor. And I'm going to have a baby. Wonderful news. <laughs> and I've just heard that Hitler has surrendered and promised not to do it again. I've just had a signal from the Admiralty, sir. You've been put in command of the fleet. And I've been asked to direct a film about Gandhi, sir. <laughs> oh, shut, shut up, Agenbar. <laughs> I'm
Welcome to Rob Roy Castle. Though when I say Rob Roy Castle, I don't mean Rob Roy Castle. I mean who'd want a Rob Roy Castle? <laughs> Anywho, here in the heart of Midlothian, it's time to water the Patrick Thistle, crown the Queen of the South, and go home and treat Motherwell. We're ready for Hogmanay, which is Gaelic for Hogmanay. Hogmanay is when we see the old year out and the burn in. But in the words of Rabbi Burns in his wee poem, there's a sneak in the dropper and a hoolie doon the new. There's a weak yellow skingle with a midden slot as key. There's a gorge in the porridge and a brick lick next to fall. And a bonny here and laddie floating down the further fall. <laughs> and there are wee songs during which I shall be accompanied to the police station. Thank you, Hamish, please. Let me take you by the hand and lead you through our harmony. If you don't come, can't you stand? Don't worry, that's the price you pay. You stand there and you swell and kill. Your cheeks are red and glowing. You don't know where the breeze comes from, but you sure know where it's going. Hogmanay, oh Hogmanay, the merry men's uncoiling. That is the dirty sucks you smell, it's just my haggis boiling. So sing to the Hogmanay with me, sing to the Hogmanay. Should all acquaintance be forgot, and let my wit pay. So raise your glass and drink a toast, but easy on my whiskey. Last year I drank the whole fat dry, jeez, till I get frisky. Oh, Scotland she is, but when the pipers start to play, then England blocks its ears. You saw some acts on New Year's Eve, I stuck with Terry Wogan. In Scotland things are twice as bad, we're stuck with Jimmy Logan. <laughs> sing to the harmony with me, sing to the harmony. Should all the acquaintance be forgot and let the weight up be. So raise your glass and drink a toast in whiskey, beer and brandy. I'm gonna drink until I drop, so keep the bucket in hand <laughs> you enjoyed our little Christmas present as much as we enjoyed sending it. The BBC gave me a Christmas drink, by the way. You'd think they'd give me a bottle, wouldn't you? Okay. <laughs> Here's to you, and may you enjoy the rest of your Christmas, and have a happy and a peaceful New Year. Cheers. <laughs> 